welcome back my dear friends hope you are all doing well so we are discussing about the mathematics third for CSE branch model question papers okay so today I will uh, discuss the question number 4b of the model question paper set 2 okay so subject code you already know BCS 301 so today we will discuss about this uh, question number 4b show that the matrix P is equal to 0 0 1 1 by 2 0 1 by 2 0 1 0 is a regular stochastic matrix okay first of all uh, you should understood what does the stochastic matrix mean if all the elements of a matrix are non-negative means all are positive values over there in the matrix and summation of uh, the rows should be equal to 1 okay see here given matrix a each element is non-negative means in this matrix each and every element is non-negative means positive values are there okay and sum of elements of each row if you just sum up the uh, each element of a row means 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1 1 by 2 plus 0 plus 1 by 2 you will get 1 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1 so all the elements of a row is 1 so that matrix is called as stochastic matrix so p is a stochastic matrix but you have to show this matrix is a regular stochastic matrix means you have to calculate some higher order terms means p square you have to go for the variety of uh, iterations like p square p cube p raised to power 4 p raised to power 5 you have to calculate if you are getting same matrix as non-negative values and summation of each row as 1 then you can call it the regular stochastic matrix right so let me calculate first let p square is equal to you have to calculate p square first okay so p square means you have to take this matrix 0 0 1 1 by 2 0 1 by 2 0 1 0 and again you have to take p means p into p 0 0 1 1 upon 2 0 1 by 2 0 1 0 now this is a matrix multiplication i hope you will do it and uh, this multiplication part should be fast in your head over there okay this is your first row first column means 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 by 2 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 so i can write first element as 0 over here okay then first row second column 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 like that you have to multiple first row third column 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 1 by 2 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 so this will be your first row over there then second row first column 1 by 2 into 0 is 1 by 0 0 into 1 by 2 is 0 1 by 2 into 0 is 0 okay so this will be your 0 1 by 2 into 0 is 0 0 into 0 is 0 1 by 2 into 1 is 1 by 2 so like this one okay then 1 by 2 into 1 is 1 by 2 then 0 into 1 by 2 is 0 1 by 2 into 0 is 0 now third row first column 0 into 0 is 0 1 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 0 into 0 is 0 okay then 0 into 0 0 1 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 okay next 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 0 into 0 is 0 so this is the matrix multiplication you have to do like this okay you can calculate it in the Kelsey also but uh, your multiplication should be fast like this one you will easily it will take less time i think than kelsey over there then p cube you have to calculate higher terms i can write p cube as p square into p p square is already you have calculated here 0 1 0 0 1 upon 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 0 1 by 2 okay this is your p square you have to multiple it with p p is given in the question that is 0 0 1 1 by 2 0 1 by 2 0 1 0 this is your p already given in the question okay this one you have to multiple now these two matrices you will get the answer for this see first row first column 0 into 0 0 1 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 0 into 0 is 0 then 0 uh, first row second column 0 into 0 0 1 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 right then first row third column 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 and 0 into 0 is 0 okay then second row uh, second row first column second row second column second row third column like that you have to multiply it okay i hope you will do it this is a calculation part is yours i can directly now write here the values 1 upon 4 1 by 2 1 by 4 then third row first column third row second column third row third column okay you will get 0 1 upon 2 
1 upon 2 similarly you can go for the next iterations like p raised power 4 p raised power 5 uh, it depends on the question uh, is it the 6 marks question 7 marks question if it is 7 marks question definitely you should go for the p raised power 4 also p raised power 5 so that you will get good marks so i can also stop here uh, up to the p3 level see here your uh, what we call summation of each element should be 1 see 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 it is nothing but 2 by 2 is equal to 1 so this is summation is 1 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 uh, you can take here lcm as 4 okay this will be your 1 plus 2 plus 1 that is 4 4 upon 4 is 1 so this summation of the second row is also 1 and 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is nothing but 1 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to also 1 so each element the summation of each element is 1 over here and all the values of this particular matrix is non-negative means this is positive so you can write here this statement <coughs> you can write the statement since in p3 p raised power 3 all the elements or all the entities all the entities are non negative means non negative means positive okay and and also sum of each sum of elements of each row elements of each row is 1 right therefore p is or given matrix is you can write given matrix given matrix is a regular stochastic matrix okay so this is all about your question number 4b i hope this is clear to you people and this is a simple question you should not leave these type of questions these mark these marks are just in your pocket make sure you will share this video to all your friends who actually need it so thanks for watching my video